22 kilos, enough heroin in a single bus last month in Manchester for 726,000 doses of a drug that takes only one to create an addiction. But before the haul ever made it here, New Hampshire drug czar Jack Wozniak says it first had to cross the Mexican border. It probably makes uh, between four, six, or more stops. Well, you heard those few facts, folks. Hello again, human beings, and especially you New Hampshire residents. You hear the statistics. You see the headlines continually with the heroin and opiate addiction, most of which started with your prescription pills. I'm a New Hampshire native. I know exactly what went on there. You pushed the pills. You pushed the opiates. And then when people couldn't get them and they ran out of work and they had a habit that made them cringe and sweat and vomit, they found out that, hey, I could get heroin and relieve myself of this, and it would actually be cheaper than the pills that they've got me hooked on. And Then just a few days ago, a good friend of mine who has, uh, you know, been watching the world, caring about his community. Oh, did I mention that he overcame his opiate addiction with the use of cannabis? Did I, did I mention that? that? That he took himself out of this problem that's running rampant throughout the live free or die state. Live free or die. This kid almost did die. He pulled himself out of that. A good kid. A good guy. Cares about his family. Cares about his community. Cares about his country. Cares about the world. Keeps himself informed. Warns people of bad weather and traffic accidents and does all kind of things and works for a living. Now he faces prison because he had possession of a plant. Of course, the World Health Organization will tell you that you have a right to health. Right here, this quote is nice, isn't it? The world needs a global health guardian because you can't take care of yourself. A custodian of values, a protector and defender of health, including the right to health. And I'm going to add the right to good mental health as well. The right to health means that governments must generate conditions in which everyone can be as healthy as possible. And with over 260 cannabinoid receptors in the body, the body is not as healthy as possible without cannabis. New Hampshire law violates human rights, international law. It's unfathomable in today's society. I want everybody to get behind my friend uh, Nick, I want you to flood the entire state with these simple facts. That cannabis is necessary for good health in many, many people. It is a human right. And that if a law is unjust, a man or a woman is not only able to ignore that, they're obligated to do so. And as a juror, keep this in mind, because some of you that see this video just may be on the jury pool when this man enters the courtroom. This man that pulled himself from the depths of hell, all while supporting his community and family and working. And you have a right to say not guilty. 
even if his actions did violate the written code, the written statute, the written what you call law, there is no law if it violates my being or anyone's being. There is no law. The law is void. You must acquit. You cannot send a person to prison or take their money or consume their time or beat them down or slander their family for the possession of a plant. And I'll challenge all you New Hampshire residents, if you don't stand behind that idea, then you need to change your state motto. Because a man is not free when he does everything right and then he's put in prison for it or threatened with prison or his money stolen or his family put in horror. You can't do it. You can't do both. You either change your state motto to we kill you or ignore your cannabis law and overturn it. Or you're all liars and thieves. Much love. Many thanks. And uh, I'm going to link you below to the three pages I showed you the uh, video so you can finish watching just how bad it's gotten in New Hampshire. I'll link you to the quote I showed you on the uh, WHO info page, World Health Organization. And I'll link you to the 420 Occupy New Hampshire Cannabis Legalization page. No, I'm not there in New Hampshire right now, but I am a native. It is my home state, and I love the state. And I can fight remotely for all of you. But the question is, is are you going to fight? You're going to have to. Or kneel in chains. Much love, and see you soon. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.